Hello friends today I am going to tell you something about chemical engineering. So everyone has questions about chemical engineering right? So I will try today to solve it. Before starts the presentation I would like to introduce world's most successful persons with the degree of chemical engineering. First is Mukesh Ambani. Mukesh Ambani. Be chemical engineering from. Institute of Chemical Technology, Matunga. And owner of Reliance Industries. Next is Xi Jinping. Chemical Engineering from. Tsinghua University. Now President of China. Next is Dr. Knight in Noria. B. Tech in Chemical Engineering from IIT Bombay. Currently Executive Director of Tata Sons Limited. Linus Pauling. Chemical Engineering from Oregon State University. He published more than 1,200 papers and books, of which about 850 dealt with scientific topics. Got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1954. And so many others. Now the question is what is chemical engineering? So the answer is. A chemical engineer is a professional, who is equipped with the knowledge of chemical engineering, works principally in the chemical industry to convert basic raw materials into a variety of products, and deals with the design and operation of plants and equipment. In general, a chemical engineer is one who applies and uses principles of chemical engineering in any of its various practical applications, these often include. 1. Design, manufacture, and operation of plants and machinery in industrial chemical and related processes, chemical process engineers. 2. Development of new or adapted substances for products ranging from foods and beverages to cosmetics to cleaners to pharmaceutical ingredients, among many other products, chemical product engineers. 3. Development of new technologies such as fuel cells, hydrogen power and nanotechnology, as well as working in fields wholly or partially derived from chemical engineering. Various opportunities for a chemical engineer. Petroleum. Convert crude oil into the petrol, diesel, kerosene, heating oil, etc. In petroleum also there are two major classifications, 1. Onshore 2. Offshore. Major companies requiting are, Reliance, Shell, Exxon, SR and much more. Next is environmental. Reduction in air pollution and water treatments. All the chemical industries requires chemical engineer for water treatment as well as satisfies air pollution requirements. Then next is biotechnology and pharma industries. In biotechnology design of bioreactor is the crucial aspect from chemical engineer. And in pharma chemical engineer is required in production as well as in research. Next is semiconductor electronics. As many of people are not aware about it but. Companies like IBM and Intel hires chemical engineers in huge quantities for manufacturing of semiconductors slash doping etc. Other industries are. Fibers and polymers. Food and drinks. Plastic and metals. Pulp and paper. Toiletries. Many chemical development engineers work for engineering consultancy and contracting firms. There are also opportunities to work in pollution control, environmental protection, energy conservation, recycling and alternative energy. Now if we talk about skills required as a chemical engineer. In addition to specific technical knowledge, a chemical engineering degree provides a sound theoretical basis for introducing new technology and advancing existing technology. You also gain an awareness of the global and societal context in which engineering solutions are applied. Transferable skills that would be useful in a range of engineering and business related roles include. 
problem solving and analytical skills. Project management, through group design work. Teamwork and leadership. Initiative and attention to detail. Through independent research. Communication and presentation skills, developed through group work and presenting research projects. A survey about chemical engineers. What do chemical engineering graduates do? Employment outcomes vary too much for comment but more than a quarter go on to further study, almost a quarter of whom study biology. More than half of chemical engineering graduates are working in engineering professions six months after graduation. Of these, 36% are working as production and process engineers. Now talking about responsibilities as a chemical engineer. 1. Working closely with process engineers and control engineers to ensure the process plant is set up to provide maximum output levels and efficient running of the production facility. 2. Designing plant and equipment configuration so that they can be readily adapted to suit the product range and the process technologies involved, taking environmental and economic aspects into account. 3. Setting up scale up and scale down processes including appropriate changes to equipment design and configuration. 4. Assessing options for plant expansion or reconfiguration by developing and testing process simulation models. 5. Designing, installing and commissioning new production plants, including monitoring developments and troubleshooting. 6. Optimizing production by analyzing processes and compiling the bottleneck studies. Applying new technologies and more. Now most important part is salary. So, according to a recent salary survey by the Institution of Chemical Engineers, ICOM, graduate starting salaries are in the region of £28,500. Prospects for higher earnings in the profession are good and median salaries for chartered chemical engineers reach £70,000. Work in certain industries, for example oil and contracting, will attract salaries higher than this. Salaries vary according to location, sector, size and the nature of the industry and are dependent on chartered status. If we talk about syllabus, then Mass transfer, heat transfer, fluid flow operations, solid unit operations, chemical reaction engineering, thermodynamics, process equipment design, plant utility and energy efficiency and more. What is our mission is? Our mission is. In next few months we will cover all these subjects theoretically along with industrial experience persons. So subscribe to our channel for more. Chemical Engineering World. Rushy Barrett. Thank you. Do subscribe to this channel next video will be on distillation tower, working principle along with industrial example and a case study.